Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside a house flip that we have under contract to sell, and then we had issues with an engineer and some structural problems they think we have, which I don't know if we really have or not, but we'll show you what's going on, tell you the issues. Uh, this is a flip. We've had a while. We've had it under contract a couple times, and it's supposed to close this week, actually, and then the appraiser called out some cracks we had in the foundation, which are very minor, and I would have um, been worried about some other parts of it aside from those cracks. But then an engineer came in, said the cracks were fine, but found another problem. So we'll show you what that is and um, what's going on here. Of course, we'd love the likes, shares, comments. Love seeing new subscribers as well. And um, would love to get this property sold as well because we've had it a while. It definitely has um, taken longer to sell houses now. And then... We've had a few houses fall out of contract. And then ironically, you know, we listed some, oh, when was that? Two, three weeks ago? One of them went under contract right away. And then one of them didn't go under contract right away, but like 10 days after we listed it, we got an offer and got another offer the same day. So we actually still got multiple offers. Oh yeah, and last time I was here, I was shutting that door and managed to put my shoulder through the glass window. So we got that fixed and um, that hopefully won't happen for a while. But um, the first offer had a contingency, which means they had a house to sell before they can buy this one. And you know, before we didn't have to really take contingencies, we still did sometimes even with the crazy market. But in the past, we've taken them all the time. It's like, well, should we take this? And like, yeah, things have slowed down a little bit. Let's just take it. And then we countered that offer and like an hour later, got the second offer that was better. Like, oh no, but um, maybe they won't accept the counter, but then they accept the counter. So the mark houses are still selling, houses are still moving. It's just definitely returned to more of a normal market. Okay, so here we are in this basement. I haven't talked about murder rooms for a long time, but this is a great murder room basement, older house. I mentioned murder rooms in a lot of our houses because Nikki brought up the term where it's just a room in the basement where someone probably was murdered at some time because it's real creepy and weird. And this has a couple of those real creepy and weird rooms. And this is kind of like a storage room. And it's actually a really clean basement compared to a lot of them. And you've got the old coal chute here still, which is real cool and real cobwebby too, but kind of cool to see. But so the engineer was calling out cracks in this foundation and we, like I've never really even seen, except for like this, it was patched before, but um, nothing too crazy. And I feel like in the past, appraisers almost never called out founda foundation issues unless they're major, like really wrong, floors really sloping, something seems like really bad. Lately we've had a few appraisers calling out real minor stuff that wasn't a problem and we bring in engineers and the engineer's like, yeah, it's fine. Um, you know, there's no problem at all, which delay things, adds a bunch of costs. Pretty annoying, but it happens. But yeah, you can see it's got the old stone foundation, and we thought that might be an issue, if anything. But no, the engineer came through and said, nope, it's fine. It's been here a hundred years. There's no problems. This foundation's fine. There's no problems. The problem she found is back here, which is definitely more murdery. Is my, oh, my flash isn't on. There we go. I thought I had it on. But um, the problem, the engineer said that dirt is supporting that brick wall. And I guess it's supporting it. I mean, it almost looks like the brick wall goes into the dirt, but maybe it just sits on top of it. And that that dirt could give way. Then that supporting wall doesn't have anything to support it. So we need a retaining wall, and then and there's maybe some squirrels or something digging, who knows, <laughs> a retaining wall around the dirt to keep it from falling away. And you can see the massive amounts of concrete they put in this basement before. So the rest of the structure is fine. It's just this one part that has this dirt, and I guess they dug out most of the basement or the back of the basement at some point, put in those big concrete walls, but left this one section of dirt here, and that's the big issue for us. So we're trying to save the deal by getting a report done, 
hopefully get this wall poured, get that done right away. But we've run into a few issues with that situation. So I am doing a voiceover because it's been two days since I first filmed this. And what I can tell you is the buyer's rate lock was expiring um, this month, the end of December. And if they didn't get it closed, then they have to do a new rate lock. It will cost them $2,000 and they want us to pay for that. Um, to keep the deal going. And we are going to have to pay for that because we thought we could get this engineer's report done, get the wall poured real quick, and maybe close before the end of the year. But the engineer has been a giant pain, and so that is no longer an option. What we are doing now is hiring a different engineer. So um, this engineer had been asked by the buyers to go inspect it, look at the basement, see how it looks. She did, came back, gave them her opinion, but didn't do a formal report. And so we asked, hey, will you do a report? She said, yes, I can get in there, do it right away. And we were waiting, waiting. She's like, well, you my invoice paid first. And we never got the invoice. We're waiting days for the invoice. Um, she had sent it to the wrong email address, kept sending it to the wrong email address. We actually had to send her email so she could just reply to it to send us the invoice. And finally we got the invoice and it was $2,100 just to do a report saying what was needed. And so by the time we got it, it was already too late to get this done right away and inspected and closed in time for December. So we have another engineer who can do it next week. He's much more reasonable with price. We'll have him go out, look at it, give us report, a report, get the work done, and then hopefully close then. But we just could not believe the engineer. We don't know if she's price gouging us because we knew we had to get this report done quickly. But that is just way more than we've ever had to pay for an engineer's report. Um, and that seemed a little bit ridiculous. So that's our new plan. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully the new engineer doesn't come in and say, oh, I see all these other problems the other engineer didn't see. Or maybe the new engineer will come in and say, hey, everything's fine. You don't really need to do anything. But I could see looking at that dirt spot how maybe that is a problem. But the appraisals report did not call out that dirt. They just called out cracks and water intrusion which we did not see an issue with and the appraiser or the other inspector engineer did not see an, an issue with either and yeah it's real weird i just switched to the complex because i ran out of time for my voiceover and my other video was too short so um here's a beautiful look at that property if you didn't see our recent video on it i just had one posted there yesterday but we'll see how it goes hopefully we'll get the property closed and done and that work completed but um, you can see some of the reasons for delays and why things happen in real estate and some of the ways to kind of help alleviate them and move them forward and, and different options you can use. All right. Love the content. Love the comments. Love the likes. Love the shares. Keep those coming. Love seeing new subscribers. And we will be back here very soon with more videos and updates on everything we've got going on. Flips, rentals, businesses, all that fun stuff.